What's going on YouTube for us here? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm just going to cut to the chase right at the start of this video and say that I felt the season finale of The Last of Us was underwhelming. And that's not to say that I thought it was bad or that I hate this episode because that's not how I feel. I just feel that the episode didn't fulfill my expectations and perhaps maybe my expectations were too high. Maybe I just wanted too much from this episode. But when I look back on the rest of the series, and I talked about in last week's episode, or last week's video that I talked about The Last of Us in, I thought leading up to this, The Last of Us was a masterpiece. And after this episode, I don't know if I can say that anymore. And that's not saying that it's no longer one of my favorite television shows. No, I still love this show. I still think it's a really good adaptation of the video game. But frankly, I just think the video game's better. And... That's just how I feel about this episode. You know, I feel that the video game just delivered on more emotions than what the TV show did here in the finale. And this was kind of the first time that I felt that they could have done more. Most of the other times, it's like, okay, like, I see what you're doing. You're hitting the right emotional points. I was there with you. But the ending, I was expecting to be more emotionally impacted. And it just wasn't there. And again, I, I, I want to focus more so on the ending, because I feel that everything leading up to the ending was really, really well done. The flashback, excellent. I thought Ashley Johnson was fantastic in that. It was so nice to see her, so nice to hear that voice, because that, to me, is Ellie. And Bella Ramsey's done a great job, don't get me wrong, and she does a fantastic job in this episode, and I'll talk about it here in a second. But seeing Ashley Johnson and hearing that voice, all that stuff, to me, was... Carth or <laughs> Carthetic? What is that word? Therapeutic. Whew. English is hard for me today. Anyways, I digress. That scene to me was great. And again, the set design, the makeup, all of that stuff here was fantastic. And it shows why The Last of Us, in my mind, up to this point, was a masterpiece. Because they took so much care with everything. And again, we see it in the first scene with Joel and Ellie. And again, we're seeing the direction of Ellie here. She's a little bit more distant. She's not listening to Joel. She's spacing out exactly like she was in the video game. And we understand why and we empathize with her because she just went through this incredibly traumatic experience with David and now she's still dealing with it. And she doesn't know how to express these feelings to Joel. And now she's also coming to grips with the fact that like this journey is coming to an end. And for Joel, he's not really understanding what's going on with Ellie, so he's trying to be a little bit more upbeat than he normally is. And to go from that and then to the giraffe scene, like, all of this was so well done. The giraffe scene to me was amazing. Again, great set design. The score was great. Like, that was where I felt the most emotion in this episode, was 10, 11 minutes into it. And when you're playing that part in the video game, it's great, don't get me wrong, I love it, it does incite motion, and it's it's important, and I think it's a really good story beat to hit, but if that's the most emotional part of your television show, of your episode, if that's the one that rings more true to the game than your ending, did you really hit the ending very well? I would say no. I love the little scene that they have in the army base after the giraffe scene it gives us a little bit more backstory on joel i love the fact that he talks about how he was too scared to kill himself or unalive himself sorry it's it's youtube i forgot you're not allowed to say that um and i, I just thought it was really well done and i was hoping that we would get the underwater scene where ellie can't swim joel has to save her but ellie also saves joel it's just a really heartwarming scene and again it strengthens their bond it gives us some tension and they just ruined that tension by, what, just bringing in the fireflies like that. And I didn't like it. I didn't like the introduction with the fireflies. Once we saw them, everything from that point forward until Joel's in a truck was just not done as good as the video game. Like, by any means. And that's really upsetting. Because that, to me, was what you needed to nail 10 times over that is the scene you need to nail everything that happens in the hospital needs to be well executed and frankly it wasn't at least in my opinion and the reasons for it i'm just going to outline quickly here i felt that it was just too quick i felt there was no real emotion yes joel is a cold-blooded killer 
but he was acting more like Rambo than he was acting like himself. Like, let's look back at episode two, where this guy was struggling to shoot straight, he was struggling to just hit clickers, and now he's taking out armed guards with the precision of an army, like, soldier, of a marine, and you're expecting me to believe that? Like, at least give us a little bit more tension, where it's like, maybe Joel dies trying to save Ellie, and maybe he gets hurt trying to save Ellie. Because at the end of the day, yes, there's video game fans, but there's also people that have never seen anything from The Last of Us. And maybe they want to be surprised. Maybe they want that tension to be built. Maybe Joel saves Ellie and then dies in the process, sacrificing his life for hers. And that could be something to live for. But instead, it's like, he doesn't do that. It's, I'm Rambo now, I can kill people with the, the, the quickest precision. And to me, it just felt cheesy and it didn't feel dramatic. It felt just John Wick-esque almost. And that's almost like a parody of action movies. And that was the disappointing part. It would have been much better to take more time in that scene, take more time in the hospital where he's cornered and doesn't have a way out and he figures out a way out. Maybe he builds a Molotov or a pipe bomb and just make it feel a little bit like the video game. And they'd miss that opportunity. The other thing is he's traversing floors, he's going back and forth, he's doing nothing to stop them from getting to him. And again, that can build that tension. You can feel a little bit more connected to Joel if he's sitting there grabbing chairs and trying to close doors, if he's pushing desks to block doors so that he can get to Ellie because there's one thing on his mind. But he's not doing that. He's not being resourceful. He's looking at it from a pure action movie sightline and just going right in and going for the kill. And that to me was just... Eh, I just wanted more time there, more buildup. And as well, like, everything with the Doctor, completely fine. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm totally okay with how they handled that. Uh, I didn't have any issues there. But what I did have issue with is I felt that the Doctors should not have been the ones to unhook Ellie. And it should have been Joel to do it. And the reason why is I think it's just a little bit more impactful. Because you have these Doctors that are so set on making Ellie the cure... And they're just letting this man take her. And it's because he incites so much fear in them. And that's what I wanted. Instead of them, okay, like, well, okay, like, we're going to stand back. I just think that right away, to me, is just better. It's a very small detail. It's If they hadn't have done it and they'd hit everything else, I think I would have been fine. But the fact that we go from him grabbing Ellie straight to him getting down the elevator is a missed opportunity to once again build some tension. And for me, it would have been better if he'd had a little bit more of a heartbreaking scene or emotional scene or anything like that with some really good sound design and a good score to back it where he's running through the hospital, finding the elevator and getting to it and make it mean something more than what we got. Because I'm going to be honest here, 44 minutes was not long enough for this finale. I'm not asking for a 20 minute chase scene. I'm not asking for anything like that but an additional five or 10 minutes to show the underwater scene, to show a little bit more time in the hospital, to me would have fulfilled the expectations a little bit more. And again, I'm not saying it's a bad episode. I'm not saying it ruined the series for me, but it just felt like such a departure from what we've had in the past, where they decided to take time with certain events and here they just wanted to rush through it so that we could get Ellie off the hospital bed as fast as possible into the truck as fast as possible and back to Jackson as fast as possible. And it just didn't, it missed, it missed the mark. And if I'm going to say any other detractions in this video, there wasn't enough infected and I wanted more of it. And I kept defending it as not having enough infected so it could build more tension. Well, there's no payoff to the tension when you don't have any tension. And I felt they needed to have more tension in this show and i know i'm saying that word a lot and i apologize if you're annoyed by that word but i felt that the last of us as a whole missed the mark on building tension and having payoff to tension throughout the entire show but if i have to surmise my feelings towards the nine episodes i'm pretty content i am is the finale perfect no but i i i, I guess i can live with that as long as they continue to grow and learn from their mistakes moving forward, I think we can have a really solid television show. I think we can have a really solid adaptation. And 
I'm excited to see what's going to come next from this world, whether it's season two or last of us part three or the multiplayer game. I want more time in this world because I love this world. I love this universe that Naughty Dog created. I might not agree with every decision. I might not like every decision, but at the end of the day, I will tell you this. I will be here for every piece of media they release because I'm a fan of this series. And even though it's not perfect in my eyes, it doesn't have to be because they've done something special here with the Last of Us universe. And I'm so excited to be along the ride moving forward. I'd love to hear what you guys thought of the finale down below in that comment section. Let me know what you thought about the series as a whole, whether or not it met your expectations or not. I'd love to hear any and all opinions when it comes to The Last of Us. Let's just be, uh, let's just have some fun with it at the end of the day. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.